Yo, 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 today I'd like to do a video on my automated logo shop. It works similar to my metal frag shop where it does not make a profit, but it's just there to help you and other players refine logo for free. It also sells 750 charcoal for wood. This is to keep the shop running for the entire white. If we buy some low grade here with the crew that we've got, you'll hear that the refinery will automatically start back up. The reason for having 80 wood in the vending machine is because the require all feature on the conveyor only works if it's pulling out of the same container. There's six igniters and each time the oil refinery ignites it will cycle to the next igniter. This allows the refinery to ignite 3000 times which should last you a full 28 day wipe. I'll now demonstrate why the igniters are in the position they're in. For some reason igniters get damaged through walls from rockets. So if I rocket here, see those two broke. So you have to put them in this position here. They can be damaged from any type of explosion, whether that be grenades, heli rockets, HVs, or just regular rockets. For the placement of the igniters, you can't have any igniters placing higher than this line right here. So this would be, you couldn't place this one, but you could place one here. So we need to make sure we have six, enough room for six, all the way up to here. And you have to place them in the very middle as well, else they'll break. For the rush attrition circuit, I haven't connected all the conveyors to maintain visibility of the circuit. So what you want to do is you want to connect this branch to the rest of the conveyors and then connect the final conveyor to the blocker at the top. The reason for having this extra branch is due to a bug with the wind turbine. When the power changes from the wind turbine, it will cause the whole circuit to update, which will reignite the igniters. So to prevent this, we have this branch that powers out to the first conveyor, which blocks this. So I'd like to demonstrate what I mean. You'll see the timer will randomly get started when the wind turbine changes power. So at the moment we're at 105. Oh, I just did it then. And we're at 104. So that's why we have to have the branch in between. Okay, so if we see now we've got the branch in between. Power's at 104. We'll wait for it to change, 103, and nothing's happened. I'd also like to explain why the conveyor that ignites the refinery has to be the first in the circuit. See how I've got two conveyors here, the first one's hooked up to their battery, and the second one is hooked up to the pass-through of the first conveyor. If I put an item in here, you'll see that the timer will start. This is happening because the circuit is updating and causing the second conveyor to resend the signal. Now onto the build. There's two main things to keep in mind when placing the first foundation. You want to make sure that you can place all the other foundations and also that there's enough room for the igniters. So I'll place the first foundation here. Check, there's enough room. Yep, so that all works. We'll upgrade this foundation and make sure we can place all the igniters. Yep, so that's enough room. Next, if the terrain's looking kind of dodgy, you can check if the oil refinery fits in. It does, so now we can place TC. Stack it up for the wipe and full seal it off. Now we can seal up the base and put a sheet metal door on. Now we can go to rust attrition and craft everything we need. Now that that's all crafted, I normally go over with the wind turbine, the battery, the two barrels, and the ladder. And then I'll place the battery as far back as I can to make sure I can fit the two barrels. The barrels actually have a square hitbox, so you have to place them in the same way I do. Alright, now that I've done that, I can bring everything over. On rush attrition, I have these numbered so I know what connects into what. I have the first one at the bottom, it goes all the way up, and then I have the seventh one on the end. 
for the oil refinery, you might need to rotate it around until you can find a place spot to place it. For the wooden charcoal barrels, I always like to have the one that's closest to the TC as the charcoal barrel. Awesome, so all the inputs and the outputs should be filled except number two. Now move on to the wiring. For these next six counters and next six splitters, you want to make sure they're lined up so it's easy to know which one plugs into which. Set these all to one. Then we need the button to make sure one is active. Press this once. Now this one should have power pass through when we ignite the refinery. Next we want to make sure we connect these up in order. Then each splitter should clear its own counter and increase the next one. Then we can connect them up to the igniters. Now we can connect the filter fails and passes. Set this to 100. The reason for setting this to 100 is in case the server lags, which can cause the electricity to travel a lot slower, making the circuit not work. Then we can set the conveyor filters. Make sure this one's set to require all. The reason the charcoal needs to be maxed at 9k is because of a glitch with the conveyors. Instead of always filling up partially filled stacks, they'll fill the first slot available. This has been partially fixed by Facebunch, but not fully fixed. When this is fully fixed, you're about to increase the max limit. As of now, having over 9k increases the risk that wood will drop out of the vending machine. We need to remember to take the 100 wood out of the refinery. Now we can go get the 500 crude or the 1.5k low grade and also the wood. I've created a keybind so I can carry more wood. If I press J it will make me a TC. And if you spam J it allows you to craft up to 60 TCs. I'll post this command in the description. To cancel it, if you press right click on the second one, it will send it to the front meaning you never actually craft a TC. I'll fill up the box with however much wood I want for a buffer, then we can place the vending machine on. Then I'll place the bag. You want to make sure you leave this wall free of electronics, as you won't be able to place the bag. We can set the cell orders. Cool. 
750 charcoal is the exact amount of charcoal you get if you burn a thousand wood. And now we can turn all the conveyors on. And we'll see it's pulled crude and wood into the refinery and putting the low grade back into the vending machine. After that's done, we can put the blue flasher lights up here to block any twig. And that's the shop done. Thank you for watching. Up next will be my auto medcrafter and my parachute tower.